This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check out the links in the description. In this video, we are talking about the sifters we use and generally they fall into three main categories. You have the uh, Tamis or drum style, the basket style, and then a third one that we don't have, which is the ones that are shaped like cups, they generally have a handle and a rotary hand crank. Those are typically meant for smaller scale baking than we do, but they're actually really great for home use because they kind of have a concentrated focus and they send the product directly into the bowl. So if you're getting one of those, they're a great buy and not to worry, but in general for baking, we're doing a lot more sifting and we need to put a larger volume of product into it. So we need something that can handle a little more. So first thing that's really popular are the basket style and we have a whole bunch of them on hand, uh, including some graduated sets and they have a variety of different mesh sizes. So some are finer that we use for sifting, say dusting product on top of finished things or potentially, uh, for straining fillings and creams and other things where we maybe want to remove seeds or any flavoring elements like say a vanilla bean uh, and we want a nice smooth finish to the product so they can be useful for a variety of tasks and then we have some with larger mesh grains that um, we use for say sifting flour powdered sugar any other ingredients and then the second style that we use is what's called a tamis or drum sifter. You notice it looks a lot like a cake pan, except the bottom, instead of being solid, is your mesh. And these are really great if you have to sift large volumes of stuff, because you can put a lot in here and it's kind of like panning for gold. You can just tap the sides and you're getting a lot of product flowing directly down onto your surface. Typically we would line our surface with parchment paper and sift or put this directly over a bowl. And this is one of the things that I like about these because literally you can use a slightly larger bowl, put the sifter down in it, and then when you go to sift your product, you can see that it's a very controlled delivery, right? And I'm trying to be a little gentle with this so I don't whack the bowl. But the other thing you can do is also just use your hand or something else and just gently push it through. And that allows you to get everything, especially with messy stuff like powdered sugar or flour, directly down into the bowl or container where you want it to be. And you can see it gives you a nice, light, fine, right, um, powder, right? All the little lumps are broken up any hard or large pieces are left in the sifter. So these are all beautiful sifters to use and I always recommend having a variety of them on hand so that you have the appropriate one for your task. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about cake decorating, the materials and equipment we use, or just some videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you're interested in yearly membership and what that entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check out the links in the description.